Hi everybody and welcome to this pro and expert division playthrough for the Silicon Valley 9 hole cup in the game of Golf Clash here on the BK Golf Clash YouTube channel. Hope you're all doing well, thank you for clicking into the playthrough, make sure you hit thumbs up on the video and subscribe to the channel as well. It is totally free to do so. Going to take you through all 9 holes with the replays and my adjustments and suggestions of some alternatives as we go along to help you prepare for the shots you might want to consider for the Silicon Valley nine hole cup. We are of course playing a full nine holes of the Santa Ventura course. Before we get started please do also join us on Facebook, BK Golf Clash Facebook group. Lots of shot sharing and free guides and useful discussion and tips and resources to help you improve your gameplay as well as loads of great features and playlists on the channel homepage here at BK Golf Clash on YouTube. Okay, good luck in the tournament everybody. Let's get started with hole number one. Now on this par four here, you see we do have crosswind. So I'm gonna stretch out, get that bullseye on the main piece of fairway here. Applying a little bit of top spin, three bars side spin to the right. I do want to aim to get up into the top left corner of this large piece of fairway here. Power two ball and maybe even a power three ball would be good here so that we can clear it directly. Max plus 10 here, don't have to have an extra mile level nine, can do this with a lower level extra mile as well. No curl as we do have wind from left to right. Perfect ball with our max plus 10 adjustment and the top spin will take us very nicely into the corner of the fairway. Could have maybe pushed a little bit harder on the top spin, but still going to have a very good short iron approach from here. Second shot, I'm going to play this one, true club distance, 10% elevation. So I find max, find min, and then try and find a consistent spot. You'll see here when I move up and down the slope, you get a different bounce. So this is all about trying to find a nice point to bounce. Here I go with bouncing on the fringe directly with a little bit of backspin, get the ball guide to the hole with the thorn level eight. In the video here, I play 55% slider. 10% elevation, however, this one is over adjusted. I should have just gone with mid distance of my club with my 10% elevation as we do just lip out of this one. But a perfect ball away comes in with a really nice speed, just needed one decimal less on the adjustment. Two shots here on this par three to look at. First is the Goliath rough bump here. Can be a little bit glitchy here, so uh, proceed with caution, but the reference is here just having all of the red ring inside the rough on the three points. Obviously, if you've got different level Goliath, uh, it will be slightly different ring sizes, but either way, the bullseye is centered in between that rough patch. Playing with plenty of top spin here, getting the ball guide to the hole. Maximum distance 10% elevation is what I go with here. It does take us into the bunker, but that's still going to be okay. Uh, like I said, I've had mixed results with this rough bump. It is worth a try, though. Obviously, if you don't want to risk a glitch roll or inconsistent roll, play the next option with sniper. But very close there, just burn the left edge. Takes a 90 degree and out with our max plus 10. Now we're going to take a look at the sniper option. And here you're going to play with a navigator ball and plenty of backspin. Six bars backspin. Good general guide here. We do have level crosswind, so I'm going to aim on the fringe, ball guide to the hole. Adjustment here, medium distance, 20% elevation. Medium distance, 20% elevation. Very good chance of getting this sniper shot to drop. If you have lower level sniper, obviously you can use guardian if you don't have all the backspin available can have a go with the Guardian instead. Perfect ball bounces on the fringe, comes in very nicely, but again just needs 0.1 more, but a very good chance of a hole in one. Now we look here at par five, and I'm going with a power three ball here. I'm gonna play with three bars of top spin, two bars side spin to the left with the Titan. We don't want to risk clipping the rough here on the left or the right. I'm going with the extra mile, obviously you could go with a more accurate driver if you have one. Max distance, 10% elevation. And the idea here is that we can still play with our sniper for the approach. Obviously if you have better clubs and better wind angle, 
then you can push this one harder, get into long iron range, play the second shot with the Grizzly. But here in this slight tailwind, sorry, slight headwind angle, I'm going to go with a sniper shot from minimum distance. So we don't want to push this one too hard, just find the middle of the fairway, got a nice clear shot to the green, 333 yards. Second shot here, we are going to look for a funnel. I'm going to set up at the minimum distance line with the sniper and add spin. And you will find a sticky spot here. It's not the greatest funnel in the game here, but you can see there's um, a fair amount that you can see there. The ball guide just uh, sticking after the second bounce, still going to the pin. So I apply spins to have the ball guide to the hole. Mistake I make here is that I need to have the ball guide slightly through the hole, and that's because we do have headwind. So a real oversight on my part there. If you do have headwind, make sure that ball guide is going through the hole. Um, with this one, I play minimum distance, numbers, zero elevation, just a little bit short for a good chance of an albatross. Now with this par three, you can play on the left or the right side of the bunker. However, the bounce is very inconsistent and it's not wonderfully consistent before the bunker either, but it is slightly better in my opinion. Any form of headwind, going to play sniper. Um, however, with tailwind, then you can play max distance with your Goliath with a power two or power three ball. Setting up here, the yellow ring just before the rough line. Here, I'm going to go with one to one. So mid plus 10 power three settings, 5.2 in wind. Going to go 5.2 rings. Pushing the rings, otherwise the bunker will obscure what we're trying to do. Here we do get a decent bounce, but we are coming into the left. So we do need to offset this one, but this is a very, very inconsistent and difficult par three. Here we are going to look at par five and a rare albatross, actually. We do have tailwind here. Yes, you can go with an aggressive hook shot or a blast shot here, but I'm going to show you a conservative option. Two and a half bar top spin, two bars side spin to the left. Going to play with some curl here, doesn't necessarily have to be with the APOC, can play extra mile or Thor's hammer as well. Could even play with the rock actually, or the quarterback for the accuracy. Max distance, 10% elevation. Then I'm going to go with half a ball of curl to the left. We don't want to go with too much top spin here, and we don't want to go with too much curl. Too much curl, and we will clip the rough. Too much top spin, and we will end up with a shot where the trees are going to be in our way. You will see them just come into view here. We are going to be fine though with this wind angle on the second shot. Going with a wood club with distance here. Obviously, preference is to play with the sniper, but I am hedging my bets with the cataclysm in case we had a crosswind or headwind angle. Applying between one and three bars top spin, depending on the wind angle. We have tailwind here, so that's why I'm going with less top spin. Aiming as best I can to the pin with the ball guide I have. Playing with right spin as well. Maximum distance club, zero elevation. So max plus zero on this one. The drive was max plus 10. Perfect ball away. And this is a difficult shot to drop, especially if you are playing with Big Dog or the Cataclysm. Second bounce just before the fringe, and we think we're going to be close here, and we actually drop it for a beautiful albatross on this par five. Par four here, and... You've got some options available. You can go with a berserker, but here I'm going with a kingmaker because we do have tailwind angle. Adding backspin and right spin, as you could see there, stretching out to find the position. Second bounce in the sand or the rough because the tailwind is going to push us further on. Max plus 10 on this one, and we're then going to push up so that I don't have to go with much overpower. And then finally, a little bit of curl to the right. Some people do actually play this drive deliberately in the rough or the sand because there is a brilliant funnel from the green uh, the bunker and the rough in front of the green. So if you do go short, better to go short than long in my opinion because there is a very easy funnel from before the green. But there we hit the pin, super unlucky but a very easy eagle putt. Very difficult par three for me here. Uh, I have had a look at the rough bump. It's a little bit glitchy, but there is still a chance there if you want to persevere with that. However, if not, bounce over is the best way to go. However, this is all about getting enough backspin. We don't want to come in too hot, as you will 
In most cases roll down the top left corner of the green as we look from the tee and be left with an overpower putt. Here I'm playing one on one, so seven mile per hour wind, I'm adjusting seven rings, pushing them otherwise the palm trees in this wind angle would have been in the way. Perfect ball is going to bounce very nicely on the pad and like I said you don't want to come in too hot and we just want to get as close as we can um, if we miss the pin to still stay on the green near the hole for a putt. Now onto this par 4, we do have tailwind here, you can blast it if you have a strong tailwind in expert, but here in pro um, then I'm actually going to lay up with half a bar of topspin, two bars side spin to the right. Stretching out a little bit, playing with the rock for the accuracy, obviously if you don't have rock level 8, we'd have to go with a driver with distance. But this is a very narrow fairway, so we do want to go with a club with accuracy if we can. Max plus 10, the adjustment here. And as I was stretching out to find my position, I push those rings back up. Slightly running out of time, so in my hurry, I do hit a minor great right. But the good thing with the rock is that I can hit a minor great left, great right, still going to be fine. And we just want to approach the top part of this fairway. Second shot from here going to be played with a, a long iron, and I would suggest the Grizzly or the B-52 for the ball guide and accuracy. Going to go true club distance here, 15% elevation. And we're going to go with approximately three bars backspin. Leave that ball guide a little bit short of pin because we do have tailwind. In crosswind, I will be playing with a lot more elevation because we are bouncing over the stream. So in crosswind, I will consider 25, 30% elevation on this one. But same approach, set up, aim at the pin, and then go with more elevation to account for the second bounce wind effect. Mid distance plus 15 is what I go with here, but very, very close. Really good speed though, and there is a decent chance of a drop here. But like I said, you've got to get a good, accurate drive, and this hole is difficult, especially if you do have headwind angle, just burning the edge. And now looking at this par 5 here, going to use the quarterback for the drive. We do have a tailwind angle here, so two bars side spin to the left. And here I'm going with just over three bars topspin. Ball guide pointing in the centre of that bunker there. Very good reference to have. I was going to push my uh, pull my rings to adjust here, but the tree's going to be in the way. So I'm going to push them instead. Max distance, 10% elevation. Setting up at max with a power three ball. So max plus 10. Then we're going to take our shot and we're going with plenty of curl to the left. Looks like max curl. Good two balls, left curl. Perfect ball, and it bounces up there, and the top spin takes us up towards the end of the fairway. And anywhere around here is going to be absolutely fine. Second shot can be tricky, but here we do actually have an albatross to show you. Playing with the Guardian for the backspin. You can see I'm playing here with uh, just over four bars of backspin, two bars side spin to the left. In the end, I go with four and a half backspin. Ball guide shorter pin because we do have tailwind. This is an aggressive route. If you don't fancy doing this route and flirting with the bunker, then by all means just play with Cataclysm or Guardian in higher level or the big dog and just get yourself on the green. Max distance minus 10% elevation. This does play uphill. So most wind angles you will need minus elevation here or at the very best max plus zero. Very, very fortunate to drop this for an albatross. It is a tricky second shot.